Katrina and this is my channel Create Something Pretty. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have a little bit of an update of what I'm working on and I have an unexpected fabric haul. I didn't think I'd be buying fabric quite so soon. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've had a bit of a crappy week. Um, my kids have been sick and they've been trying to make me sick. I haven't caught it yet, but I've had some moments where I haven't been feeling well. Um, I'm, today I'm a bit tired, my voice is quite croaky, so I hope you don't mind my voice squeaking <laughs> so much. Um, yeah, I didn't sleep very well last night, so I've had a couple of nights like that. It just seems to be how it goes as you get older. Um, so yeah, I, I got stuck at home during last week with the kids. and. Um, yeah, it can be really hard on you when you can't leave the house. Uh, so once my kids were back, I had a lot of catching up to do, a lot of things to catch up with. And over the weekend, hubby said to me, get out of the house, go do something, have a break. Um, before I went stark raving mad. <laughs> so um, I went to Spotlight and took advantage of their sale. Um... There's a few things that I have had my eye on for a while. I've been waiting for them to come on sale. Um, and I have uh, projects in mind for those items. So um, I thought today I'd run you through the fabrics and the, the patterns I'm planning on making with them. And just show you a little bit of an update of what I'm working on at the moment. There hasn't been a whole lot of sewing over the weekend. I just sometimes I just find it really hard to sew when the kids are around and Especially when I'm not feeling so great. Um, I do a little bit more knitting when I'm not feeling great. Uh, but I just, I don't want to risk making mistakes and wrecking things. So, yeah, it's been a, not a very productive week, unfortunately. Um, and all I want to do all this whole time, I could great. And all I could still think of was sewing. So, that's, um, yeah, a bit unfortunate. So, I'm going to get straight into it because I haven't got a lot of time to get this video done. If you watched my previous video, you will know that I purchased some fabric to buy uh, to make the Helen's Closet Moss Jacket, which I have here. I'm just going to get out of the container. Um, okay, so this is the Helen's Closet Moss Jacket. I'm planning on making the short version, possibly with the neckband of the longer version. I wonder if I understand what to do. I've seen quite a few of them made just straight as this is. It looks beautiful. I love it. So that's what I'm planning to make. I did purchase fabric for that previously, but it was like a double cloth. And I have had a bit of uh, an unfortunate result using double cloth in the past. I wasn't game to use it. So I thought maybe if I just use something that I'm familiar with, first and then eventually I might there's a couple of views of the jacket I might just go back and use it for the other one so I wanted to get this one I've been thinking about it quite a bit because I really do want to make that pattern this is a slub I think it's a slub cotton or linen viscose um it's got quite a bit of drape in it um I don't know can you see oh let's see if I can there we go got quite a bit of drape in it it's a little bit opaque so it's sort of a summer weight um I always want something to put over my dresser so I feel when I have um my shoulders showing I feel a little bit exposed so I've always wanting something to stick over the top of dresses and things when I go out so that's why I want to make this so yeah I'm thinking that might be a good way to go so I've used this sort of fabric before so I feel a bit more confident using that. So I'm just going to put this on the floor. So that was the first thing I purchased. Um, and then while I was there, I happened to see this item. This is a rayon um, with this beautiful like magenta, red, purple sort of colours. I love the colour of this. I'm actually not too keen on the actual print itself, but I think I could make it work. Um, it's just a beautiful rayon. Uh, I was thinking about making um, one of the pattern poem patterns. Um, there's a 
woven dress with this the plain bodice and a tiered skirt in wovens i was thinking about making that one i'll put the name of it on the screen i might put a picture up as well um yeah so i'm thinking about making this uh make that using this um so that's everything i got from spotlight i was actually really good i didn't buy much that day i didn't even get patterns i didn't do anything so i am being a, quite mindful that i have a lot at home and i'm trying to buy less I'm trying, I'm actually thinking about having a de-stash because um, fabric buying is just part of being a sewist. I'm not going to stop buying fabric, I've decided. I just think it's unrealistic of me to think that I could. So it just makes me happy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was my little spotlight haul. And then during the week, I had a delivery. <laughs> And I got this Nerida Hansen Jigger Jagger fabric. Uh, this was a second on their website and it was an incredible price. I have two meters of this. Apparently there is a flaw in this, which you cannot see. Um, I've, I can, look, I know where the flaw is, but I don't know if you can see it right now. You can't see it. There's a little spot on the back. You can kind of see it a bit. There's this little dot, like dark, like these little dots. But when you're looking on this side, you can't even see it. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to make with this. I am open to suggestions. This is a mid-weight cotton. So if you have any ideas what I could make with this, um, I was thinking maybe a shirt or something, um, or maybe a, um, a shirt dress. Something that requires structure because I use a lot of rayons so and like really drapey fabric so I'm really quite unsure as what to do with that like it wasn't it really wasn't expensive as far as Nerida Hansen fabrics are concerned this was not an expensive purchase and I, I was so thrilled to get it so yeah, that's the uh, little delivery I had and today um, I didn't think I was going to get there but today I managed to get to the Linkraft half price sale and I always go to the half price sale if I can get there. Um, I always want to get their rayon twill because it is the only place I know where I can get it and I can see it. I can see the colour and so that's what I did. I went and got this. This is a khaki green. Now, it is not coming up well on the screen. It does look a bit more... Um, Oh, is that breaking? That's not too bad, a bit where the light is. It's more greeny. It's not so pale as it seems on the screen or as dirty as it looks on the screen. I want to make myself a like a love notion. I'll try and, I need to shift over a bit. Oh. Okay, I want to make like a, a love notions um, allegro skirt. Possibly something like that. Maybe something even more A-line with patch pockets and the elastic waist with the ties that um i think they're just ties like what you what you have on track pants i want to have something like that i want just a casual style skirt so i've been after something like that for ages and uh yeah i needed this fabric trying to get the right fabric was actually really hard to do so that's my plan for that one and while i was there i also got it in the uh, navy blue way as well i don't think it's as navy as what it's coming up on the screen um i'm not really sure what i'm going to do with this one maybe like some pants or um i don't know a skirt or maybe even a dress i would like to make it's just a, a plain um plain like not floral dress i don't have a lot like that because it's just getting the fabrics is the problem um yeah so i would love to do that i also have this fabric, which I was not leaving behind at Linkraft, this was $2.50 a metre. It's, um, it's like a chiffon sort of fabric. It's quite see-through. I was watching YouTube yesterday and this lovely lady, I cannot remember her name. I'm very sorry, but I'll put her name on the screen. Please check out her channel. She makes some beautiful Big Four pattern um, clothing from the Big Four patterns um and she had this beautiful top on i absolutely loved it it was in a beautiful red and it was using this pattern and as soon as i saw it I'm like i have to make that top that is my style i would wear that i would not have thought to get it and 
until I saw her. So I went and bought this. I wanted to do UV, not the short one because that's not something I would wear. Um, but that in this pattern, in this fabric, I may want to, uh, yeah, I might be disappointed with myself after picking this fabric. I don't know how hard that's going to be to work with. But I will try. <laughs> I'm willing to give it a go because that looked fantastic. I loved it on her. It's beautiful. So please do check out her channel. Um, hopefully I can get that made. Hopefully my kids start at school and I can do more sewing. Oh, we'll see. So that is all the things that I picked up. Um, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on what I've been working on. Um, I didn't really get a lot done last week. But what I did get done, I did the Toile, oh, uh, where did I put it? The Megan Nelson Darling Rangers shirt dress. I was planning on making, you see this one? Oh, I have to cover that, sorry. You see? Um, I'm planning on making that. I'm thinking about putting these short sleeves on it. Uh, and I was going to make it in this, but I have changed my mind. <laughs> I was um I was procrastinating terribly. I really just was getting absolutely nowhere and I really couldn't figure out why and I think it was because the fabric just I I, want, I just didn't like it. it. Just was not it didn't go with what I wanted. So instead, I found this fabric in my stash. You know, I'm very sorry it's a bit rustly because it this is actually a pattern piece. Uh I can't get any other <laughs> pieces. I have this fabric. Um it's, I haven't made this for a while, so this wasn't very expensive. This was a clearance fabric. Um, it's a rayon with the black background and the pink. Or oh, through, oh, there we go. It's just dropped down. Hopefully you can see it. Um, I just wanted it to be casual and to wear it with a belt. Uh, and I was debating whether I wanted to put a ruffle on the bottom. And I have kind of kept thinking in my head, do I want to do puffier sleeves? Uh, I don't know. I have all these thoughts running through my head. So I'm thinking I'm going to make the, the dress without the sleeves on it, see what I think, and then we'll go from there because I have plenty of that fabric to play with. So uh, it may end up just being plain yet. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how we go. That's the fun of sewing. You do whatever you like. So that's my Megan Nelson dress. That's my progress so far. And, oh, I'm very sorry. This is on the ground. I've, been, I've got a bit more progress on my camisole that I've been working on. This is the, let's see if I can show you the cover. It's got writing all over this. Oh, it doesn't want to open up on me. This is the Home Camisole by Pedri. This is what I'm making. Um, it really is a really simple pattern, uh, but I'm just not a very fast knitter. <laughs> it's not really my priority like I, I want to sew more and I do this when I can't be sewing and um, maybe just to relax so I do have a lot of other things I like to get up to this is probably doesn't look much different to what it was but I now have a two front triangles and I have almost finished There's one back triangle. You can't really tell the way it's sitting. And then this is almost done. I'm on only a few rows off. So slowly, slowly, we hopefully will have a camisole before the end of summer. So this is something I've been trying to get a lot more done on. Not that you can tell. Uh, I want to try and get this done before the end of the month, which is creeping up on me so quickly. So I really have to spend a lot more time on it. I think it might be done before next summer. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And hopefully I'll get it done before it cools down because I think we might have warm weather for a bit longer. I don't know. This has been the strangest summer we've ever had. I've never seen anything like this. So that is what I've been working on. Um, hopefully you've had lots of time to do sewing and, or knitting or whatever it is that makes you happy. Um, hopefully did you have a good Valentine's Day because I'm going to put a picture of my cake up. <laughs> This is something I made for the kids uh, for Valentine's Day. I like to do something fun for them. Um, my partner did uh, meet up with me for lunch and he bought me the plant behind me. <laughs> um, this is, this is, a, oh my chair just fell down. <laughs> this is a dahlia. I like the short 
sort of style dahlias. I don't like the ones you have to support with this deck. These will hold their own weight. So uh, he got this for me. It was on sale. That's okay. It's got a bit of mildew on it. It'll die back. It's fine. But they do come back each year. It's a bulb. So it'll come back next um, spring, summer. I think it's more of a summer bulb. So uh, I think that's beautiful. I think he did a really, really good job because this is my colours. I like the soft pinks. And um, I do like some colours, but usually like I'll do a soft yellow. I do not like the bright colours. Um, but having said that, I do like the deep reds. So <laughs> they're the colours that I choose for my garden. Um, yeah, so I was really thrilled with that. Didn't expect him to do that because we really, we really don't do much for Valentine's Day. It's not something that we really celebrate. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, now I... I'm going to be doing my videos inside for the foreseeable future because I was not happy with the quality of the sound of my last two videos. Uh, I have started up a Ko-fi account where you can donate if you wish to. Um, do you not feel obligated? You do not have to. Um, if you would like to buy me a Ko-fi, coffee, Ko-fi, it's called Ko-fi but they call it a coffee, um, I would really, really appreciate that. Um, I want to buy myself a microphone that is capable of making, uh, producing a better sound and can handle outdoor conditions. So uh, they're around $70, something like that. Um, but I, I need one with, I don't know, you don't need to know that. But anyway, so yeah, I'm hoping to get myself a microphone so I can do my videos outside because it is a beautiful day today. And it would have been lovely to have this video outside and it's, it's warm. It's 30 degrees today. So it's warm, but it's not too hot. So it would have been so nice. I have, all my roses are coming out. Um, I have multiple ones all out at the same time. Um, yeah, and all, I have a water lily as well. Actually, I haven't been out there today. I've been really busy today. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave you with some pictures from my garden. So I hope you're going to like that. And I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you have, don't forget to leave me a like so other people can find my videos. And if you haven't already, I would really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Subscribing doesn't cost you anything. Um, it, it's, it means my video will come up. The, you can press a button on YouTube and for your subscriptions. And all the videos that you want to see will come up in that, in that subscription. Hopefully I've said that right. Um, also, there's a notification bell which will put a little number on your bell thing and it tells you that one of the videos you want to see is there as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's everything I need to tell you. Uh, yeah, please comment as well. I love reading your comments. They keep me going. You make me so happy with all the things you say. You're so lovely. So thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it sounds better. <laughs> And um, I hope you got something nice for Valentine's Day as well. Happy Valentine's to all of you out there. Um, and I will speak to you next time. Thank you. Bye.